What's up, guys? Just want to show you something pretty cool that I discovered here. Uh, it's basically, you're looking at my Mac right now, which is why my audio quality is so good. I'm not using GoToWebinar for this. Um, so MT4 charts on Mac. Um, and I was looking around. This is like the fourth thing that I tried. And it's really the authentic MT4 that I'm so used to for charting and analysis. Um, and I'm able to do that now in the Mac world and then take trades on my account through, for example, the web-based uh, trading platform that comes with my broker. So typically you'll have some Mac option if you're trying to stay in the Mac world and you like MT4. Uh, so you can get this and stay and, and use the um, web-based uh, or even software perhaps, depending on what your broker offers. But typically there's some sort of Mac option. So with that, I can stay in the Mac world, which is pretty cool. I prefer that. I have a couple of PCs here that I'd rather not even turn on unless I need to. Um, so I'm looking at it here for the first time and really looking at, uh, you know, one of the main things that I want to make sure is correct and representative here of the market pretty well, the volume. So at first glance, it looks good. Uh, I'm going to give it some time, but typically you can tell right away if there's anything weird going on. Um, and uh, it looks pretty consistent and pretty clean. So that's something I'm not going to rush and make sure that I like it. You know, take this week and, and look at it, make sure that the uh, volume is, is not acting funny and is basically similar to other brokers that are, you know, that I'm already familiar with. It shouldn't be too different. But other than that, which looks fine, uh, this is a really good option. It's Admiral Markets. You can see up here. And you go to their website, Admiral Markets website, and get the demo. MT4 and for me I'm just like I've, I've paid for e-signal and stuff and you know I always come back to liking MT4 the best you know you can switch through the time frames quickly right no delay no loading you know everything's just it is what it is right straightforward um, and just to mention some people are asking for my template that had bought the course and really there there is no template or indicators that are really necessary I mean at this point you see this is all I have on my chart, I may do pivots or whatever, but my 50 EMA and 14 EMA, obviously you don't need any special indicators for that. The volume I'm using, again, is, you know, nothing special. And that's it. You can get a pivot indicator from really anywhere and uh, or get the pivots off of some sources or whatever. But there really is nothing special there. So this is that's why I, I don't have it on my website to download. There's really nothing there. I'm surprising, like, some people ask me f a lot for templates and... <laughs> There's really just nothing there. I know I used to have the, the dots that were colored here, and, and maybe people thought that that was something special, but it really wasn't. It was just showing you, uh, you know, if prices above or below the 50 EMA, and it would turn green or red based on that. So, you know, really don't need it. Um, at this point, I mean, you know, I spent time going through indicators years ago, and this is what I end up with. You know, the FIB, I can do exactly the same as I normally do and all that stuff. So... We're all good. The boxes, I, I customized it now and made it my, my usual. Um, so anyway, check that out. And uh, I'll be following this, this week to make sure the volume's good. But it's looking good already. Um, and I can tell you just what's going on now. For example, the euro dollar, I am expecting to break down um, initially earlier today. And it's actually doing it now to test this level. Test this zone. And it may go down to the support. And this is a lot of information here we can gather as far as, you know, if this is going to bounce off of this area or not. And if we go in now that we marked that zone, and you can see we're entering that area and the volume on the entrance here and sitting at some of the lower prices before this dip starts to, to taper off the volume-wise. Uh, there's also some excessive volume into these up moves, um, which shows weakness. And if you look at this candle, which is pretty small, uh, you know, average small candle. It's up here with some high volume on that and that results and this result. And again, if nothing's coming in high volume to stop it, we're typically going to be continuing down through this area and maybe getting to here and, and kind of get some information from that point on. Um, and GU seems to be, you know, a little, little bullishness on the dollar at the moment. GU is going into new low ground. I was supposed to make that orange, which I didn't get. And... Here's the new low ground stuff. There's a bit of demand coming in, but you can see it's sort of accepting this new low ground prices, spending a lot of time down here. So it's likely a real breakout to start the uh, session. 
and get to some lower prices and see. I know I'm not giving you a full analysis, but just some things to look at where we are now. Uh, it's, it's, uh, just into London. All right, guys. So anyway, if you're looking to stay in the Mac world or you were, weren't even thinking that it was an option with MT4, there you go. So Admiral Markets, check it out. All right, guys. See ya.